so after masking your last you draw your center line so you can see the center line and after that you measure your insta point for this particular design our insta point is going to be one and a half inch and after that you measure your counterpoint your counterpoint should be two and a half inch from the under of the last to this place two and a half inch and then you draw your counter line so now we are going to locate our lateral ball point which is when you place your last on the flat surface and then you locate where it touches the flat surface you mark it on the both sides and then place your tape this way and then you take your bump line and the next thing this is our bump point here so the next thing we're going to locate the low lateral instep point so we're going to divide the bump line into two equal parts and for this last it, it is going to be 1.6 inch so we divide it into two and we have our low lateral instep point which is here so you can see it here now for us to get the lateral quarter line, we're going to place our tip on the counter point, bring it down to low lateral instep point, and then we take the line for the lateral quarter line. So after that, we start the sketching from our instep point. So you can see what we have. We are done with the sketching. We don't need to do too much sketching on this design. So right now we're going to cut the pattern out and then we develop it. So you peel the pattern from the last, draw a straight line on your cardboard paper and make sure you align the center line on the straight line on the cardboard paper in aligning the pattern on the straight line it has to be from the vamp line towards the cap area that is where you're going to align on the straight line then from the vamp line or the vamp point towards the insta point is going to be above the center line sorry the straight line So you give some slight cut when necessary so that you can be able to get a very easy pasting of a pattern on the cardboard paper.
So you extend your vamp line and also extend the line from the bump point towards the cap. Here we are. You extend the line also to make sure you have a straight line along that side. And also from the one point towards the instep point, you extend the line also to make sure that your center line is intact. So right now we're going to add our stitching allowance at the back here, half inch, half inch as our stitching allowance. So sorry the camera went off, so I have added a stitching allowance and then we will extend this line. And also extend this one down to this place and after that we are going to add a lasting allowance so it is going to be one inch so we tick we tick here and also tick we do it round and then join the whole measurement to have your lasting allowance and after that we can now call the pattern into shape. So right now we're going to spring the bump. So we're going to cut from the bump point down to this lateral instep point. Then from here, also to the lateral instep point. So after that, you have to have your tape ready. Now we are going to make sure the center line rhymes with a straight line on our cardboard paper. And so once we are sure it's straight and it has corresponded with the straight line on our cardboard paper, we use our masking tape to hold it firm at that position. And with that, we have springed the bump. So we're going to move over to the next step now. So get your cardboard paper, fold it into two equal parts, make sure it is going to contain the whole pattern and then align the center line of the pattern towards that center of the folded cardboard paper and then you mark out the pattern on the half. So we forgot to transfer our stitching allowance on the 3D pattern, so um, let's do that. 
I'm going to be using my compass to transfer it on the 3D pattern. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be piercing through on the stitching allowance so that it will appear on the 3D pattern. So with that, I have it on the 3D pattern and now I'm going to trace it out with the pencil. So hope we can see that. And then the next thing is to cut the pattern into shape. So before separating or opening the pattern, you have to cut out your marking dots. And with that, you can now spread out the pattern. So I used staple on the pattern so that it will move while I was cutting it into shape. So you can see we are done with the pattern. It's a very simple pattern. It is now ready for use. So if you have any question, feel free to drop it in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updates because more videos are on the way. So see you in our next video. Have a nice day.